Hi, I'm Missy Beach, Senior Financial Advisor here at Wiser Wealth Management. Today, we'll tackle the question of, does a donor advised fund really help you decrease taxable income? Like so many financial planning topics, of course, it depends. Well, what is a donor advised fund? Let's start there. A donor advised fund is a vehicle to help you funnel your money to charity, but it's very strategic in nature. The beauty of a donor advised fund is that you can lump your donations to charity in a single tax year. So the best use of assets to contribute to a donor advised fund is going to be appreciated securities. You never wanna give your cold hard cash to a donor advised fund or any charity for that matter. Using appreciated securities is going to be your best bet. And why? Because the IRS lets you get away, or not even get away, totally completely legal, to donate appreciated securities to the charity and you get that full income tax deduction and you don't have to pay tax on the appreciation of those securities. So say you wanna give $25,000 to your favorite charity. Well, instead of giving $25,000 cash, you can give that $25,000 of Apple stock that you only paid $1,000 for. But now you and the charity both benefit. You're giving $25,000 to the charity and you don't have to pay tax on that $24,000 of appreciation from 1,000 to its current value of 25,000. All right, so let's tie all that into the donor advised fund. So now we know that using appreciated assets to contribute to the donor advised fund are your best bets. So when do you do this and how can it help my taxable income? Well, with the standard deduction being so high in today's day, it's really hard to ever hurdle over that. In fact, for a married couple filing jointly, the IRS already gives you a standard deduction of $27,700. So your itemized deductions have to be higher than that in order for any charitable deduction to even be worth it. So that's where bunching your charitable deductions into one tax year really comes into play. So the use of a donor advised fund allows you to do this. So if you're not sure about your charitable intentions, but you know you're charitable in nature, what you do is you put a lump sum. So maybe you know that you need to lower your taxable income this year in 2023 because you had a big bonus or a big restricted stock payout or whatever it might be. So if you put 50,000, for example, in the donor advised fund today in 2023, that's when you can use that on your tax return as an itemized deduction. So you're going to surely exceed the hurdle of a standard deduction of 27.7. So what you do is get that $50,000 deduction in the current tax year, but what the donor advised fund allows you the luxury of doing is spreading out those donations as long as you'd like to. So the vehicle of the donor advised fund allows you to control when and how much you'd like to give to each charity. So it doesn't have to be this tax year. It could be 2024, 2025, and so on. So the key is that you get your current year deduction, and that's how it's going to reduce your taxable income. So in future years, when you're donating or granting money out of your fund, there's no future tax deduction. You've already gotten the benefit up front, but what a great benefit it was. You've donated appreciated securities and you've bunched that big $50,000 deduction into one tax year to help your tax return and to help charities over future years. So if you have more questions about donor advised funds and other strategies to reduce taxable income, 
please consult your financial advisor. We're more than happy to answer your questions here at Wiser. Thank you.